Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Val 33 Tarot and we're just going to jump in and see what's going on um, with you. <laughs> you today here, Sagittarius, all right? And uh, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. So, of course, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possess777. And uh, what should I call it? I do offer same day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Sagittarius, it looks like here that you honestly, it looks like you're having a good time. You're having so much fun with your success, recognition, friends, you know, groups, people, um, loved ones, family, social media stuff, people from the past, maybe even reuniting with an ex for some of you here or old people, like old friends, you know, you know, from back then or something here. You celebrating your own, you know, you, so uh, what's it called? Career path. Some of you could be pregnant. So congratulations, you know, um, there's a lot going on here within that, you know, so whatever this is, though, there's a lot of nostalgic and happiness and feeling really good emotionally, feeling in your strength, working really hard, building, creating, you know, going to work, taking care of things and you feeling really fulfilled and happy and abundant with who you are and what you do, um, that there's something here that you are definitely celebrating or feeling happy in or successful in or dealing with a lot of people, whatever it may be here. Okay, so I don't know if some of you have to be deceptive because you're, you know, in love with someone else or have a crush on someone else while you're in a marriage or relationship with someone else, uh, or you're having to be deceptive towards someone in your own business or success, you know, or like a career path. For some of you, I do see that. Others of you, others of you have to be like this towards who you're in a marriage or relationship with, but it's not about cheating. So either or. Um, but I do see here that like, whatever this is, it's like, it's celebratory, it's great, it's fun, you know, could be third party stuff, but it's like you, you know, you focus on your money, wealth, abundance, and you work really hard towards building and creating and doing well with that. Now, something about finance is your own independence, being single and independent, either financially or maybe romantically. There could be some problems there, maybe like if there's something about like a lot of people or drama or battles or conflict and or just you feeling conflicted within yourself trying to figure something out. You could just be wanting to fight for you, you know what I mean? And what you really want and desire in life, maybe a person. And this is where you either talk to someone, communicate to them, right? And or you basically end up researching and studying and trying to figure out what you can do about all this, maybe to start it and or something else here. This is where you feel in your position and your power, you know, with your status, who you are. It's something about the contract that you're in, the commitment. For some of you, it's the marriage or relationship. Others of you, it's your spiritual or religious path. It's you knowing all these karmic things are happening. Whatever it is, and like I said, for some of you, it could be about a person. This is what's causing you to either keep things pretty quiet and hidden and or having to be deceptive, extremely deceptive towards someone or something here. And so what, you know, whether it's with a person or about a person, it's you basically still having fun and just kind of enjoying this and kind of learning more about yourself as well here along the process. Okay. And for some of you, it could be about a baby or a child. You're having to hide that. 
either or here. You know, whatever this is, though, you do have a lot of excitement and passion, and there's a new beginning here that is starting. And you're you there's a lot that you have to do constantly each day, but you juggle and balance it all pretty well. And you are planning with a lot, you know, and and for a lot, and you're making things a lot very equal with yourself and with others. There's something here that's causing you to want to create more ideas, and you know, and you have more that you can approach and do. Either with it's about someone or you know with someone and or you know what you can do more for yourself here. Some of you already have kids. So others of you about it's about other things here. You are very it makes you you know working towards these projects and things and or a person or having this idea it helps you kind of become a lot more aware and reserved about what's going on and whatever this is maybe even go cold in the situation but it is it does make you progress. There is something for the sake of progression and moving moving traveling relocating something moving forward and speeding up really really quickly and that's something that you're willing to hang on to and kind of continue to work from build off of whatever this is Hmm. Okay, so well, you either get what you want, or you know your goals and dreams and desires, and there's something here of like you know fulfillment, wish, hope, and faith, and all that, and that's where you really do something happens here where it's done, it's over with. Something is really truly happening here where it's changing you, it's changing your life. Um, it's burdensome, it's painful, it's very difficult, but you understand that it's done with, it's over with. It's it's something that you're dropping. There is some fear there. There are some restrictions. There's something that kind of feels pretty restrictive and fearful to you. But at the same time, and it may be causing a lot of anxiety and possibly maybe arguments and fights and bullying and battles with others around you. And or it's just a lot of frustrations and irritation and having to really figure something out. Either about work, what you do at work, who you're with, who you collaborate with, working on something here, making things happen. But you do plan on something here. You do, you know, still keep going and take action. Now, with, you know, and it, this could be about a person and or just you yourself, but if there's something, it's still kind of, there's still something here that's very painful, sad, depressing, dwelling, a lot of anxiety going on here, but it is for the sake of a new journey or because you rather go to a new path and a new journey or because something is starting here, okay? So maybe it's an anxious, excited, like you understand, but it's like something new that has to happen or you have to go either or I don't know. But you could have in your chart or be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Thank you. Bye.